Hi, I'm um, ICS 2021 Melbourne. My name is Dr. Justin Chi, and indeed, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I'm presenting the Optilum Urethral Drug Coated Balloon, or DCB, for recurrent anterior urethral strictures. Three year results from the Robust One study. I have no affiliations to disclose. Labori Medical sponsored my registration for this meeting. Mechanical dilatation and internal urethrotomy are the most widely used treatments for anterior urethral stricture disease, but this comes with high recurrence rates. The Optilum Drug Coated Balloon, or DCB, is a urethral balloon dilatation with propriety paclitaxel coating, allowing for both mechanical dilatation and accurate local drug delivery to prevent recurrence. The device is inserted over a guide wire which is placed through the stricture into the bladder. The pacotaxel um, is coated in the area of the stricture when it is dilated. Inflating the balloon once in position across the full length of the stricture opens the urethral lumen creating micro fissures in the urethral wall allowing for drug uptake. The paclitaxel is circumferentially delivered, allowing precision drug dosing throughout the length of the stricture. Paclitaxel itself is a hydrophobic drug which is absorbed by the target tissue. Paclitaxel remains present throughout the inflammatory proliferation and remodeling stages of wound healing that inhibit stricture recurrence. In animal models, it is present within the tissue beyond the 30 days in which it takes to stabilize the area of the stricture. The robust one is a prospective single arm open label study involving males with a single anterior urethral stricture, in this study bulba only, limited to two, to two centimeters or below in length, with four or less previous treatments, an international prostate symptom score of greater than 12, a Qmax of less than 10 mils per second, with no prior urethroplasty and no evidence of lichen sclerosis. The average stricture had 1.7 prior dilatations, with a large percentage having at least two. Following the treatment, an indwelling catheter was left for five days. Follow-up occurred at 14 days, 30 days, three months, six months, then annually. There were two main endpoints assessed throughout the three years. A total of 53 subjects were enrolled, 43 completed three-year follow-up. Throughout this study period, no serious treatment-related adverse events were identified. The second area of interest was efficacy. Functional success defined as those with a greater than or equal to 50% improvement in IPSS score from baseline, excluding those who had repeat intervention, was achieved in 29 out of 43 patients, 67%. This is very stable from the previous two-year results of 32 out of 47 assessed of 68%. Other areas measured included the quality of life measure from IPSS questionnaire fell from a baseline of 4.9 to a three-year 0.7. The only validated questionnaire in urethral stricture surgery, the urethral stricture score, patient reported outcome measure fell from 15.9 baseline to 2.0 at three years. Post void residual volumes fell from 141 to 50 and the international index of erectile function was stable. Overall, all areas investigated improved significantly over the three-year period, and our erectile function was not affected. 
looking at the functional success in a different way, looking at mean international prostate symptom score from baseline of 25.2 and a mean at, th at three years of 5.5. In terms of maximum flow rate, this improved from 5 mils per second to a mean of 15.1 mils per second at three years. In conclusion, Subjects with recurrent bulbar strictures treated with the Optilum DCB was safe and exhibited significant improvement in both symptomatic and functional outcomes through three years post-treatment. The rate of success is consistent with reported two-year outcomes, suggesting stability. Long-term fo long follow-up will continue through five years in this robust one study. I'll be presenting the early results of a randomized study next. Thank you.